Welcome or welcome back to Artsy Island Girl Jamaican Vlogs. I'm Artsy and this is our development series where we focus on developments taking place in Montego Bay, Jamaica and across the world. If you're interested in these types of videos, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe. Oh, and watch the ads. Remember this sculpture that was placed here in 2022? It's erected where the open air amphitheater in Montego Bay was located many years ago. Well, I decided to stop by today to do a quick check. I also checked out the beautification project that's taking place at the library. Now let's have a quick walkthrough to see how it's going. <music> Then I stopped by the Sign Irwin Main Road to have a look at the Montego Bay Bypass Project. Quite a few changes since our last visit. Now during his address in the House of Representatives on March 21st, the Prime Minister provided an update on the Montego Bay Perimeter Road Project, noting its steady progress at around 30% completion. What these things are called. I'm assuming that they are columns for the bridge. The project is being overseen by the National Road Operating and Constructing Company, NROC, and encompasses various components, including the Montego Bay Bypass Road, spanning 15 kilometers, the Long Hill Bypass, covering 11 kilometers, and the rehabilitation of Barnett Street West Green Avenue Road. They are also going to do a comprehensive drainage study. Now, I have a whole playlist and podcast about this project. If you want more details, I will link it at the end of the video and in the description box. And you can check out that podcast or playlist when you're finished with this video. Now, the project according to this article is scheduled for completion by March 2028. The initiative aims to establish a dependable and secure alternative route for motorists navigating Montego Bay's thoroughfares. This development initiative seeks to alleviate traffic congestion within the city while unlocking new opportunities for organized growth and enhancing connectivity to fund the project for the fiscal year 2024 to 2025, a budgetary allocation of $10.2 billion has been earmarked. Now, the contract is between the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation and China Harbor Engineering Company Limited Check, the company in charge of the construction. One of the stipulations of the contract is that the unskilled construction labor force will consist of a minimum of 90% Jamaicans. In addition, 50% of the technical jobs will also be filled by Jamaicans. So that is perfect. Taking it even a bit further, Czech will also partner with HART and STA to create a training program with the purpose of sharing knowledge and technology to Jamaicans through on-the-job training. The program is referred to as the Knowledge and Technology Transfer Program. That's it for today. See you later this week or Sunday. In the meantime, check out this video.